Yep, how about show dierte time? Yes, we are. Big day on show dirt today. One of the biggest questions we get about smallmouth, where do you start on a lake to find the wolves? Wow, how about that? Look at that bass. Yeah! <laughs> We're done. Here's the best way to put it. If you look at all the years of smallmouth shows that we've taped, here is the best way to put it. If you look at Google Earth, you look at just a topo map, you look at your Lake Master mapping, find the biggest flat that a lake has to offer. Not just a lake, could be a great lake, could be an inland lake, find the biggest flat. Here's why I say that. Generally, packs or schools of smallmouth will some way, shape, or form relate to a shallow flat, three to 10 foot of water, or a deep flat, 10 to 20 foot of water. Big and guinea, bud. Yeah, yeah. bud! <laughs> Woo! I mean, that's a beast. I rarely fish areas that have very steep breaks for smallmouth. The other thing is, when I look at a giant flat, okay? It's a big one. I look at that kind of like a deer looks at a cornfield. big one. He goes out there and he eats, and then he looks for a resting place. Could be a thicket, could be a swamp. But he revolves the majority of his year around that food source. Smallmouth do the exact same thing. Oh, he's a big one. I got him. Yes, I got sir. Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Freaking giant. Oh, How about that, that one? <laughs> yeah. That's a Saskatoon huh. smallmouth. That is a Saskatoon smallmouth. That uh -huh. is a stud. That is a stud. Good one, dude. Oh, Z. If you're looking at all of this shallow water or deep water footage, a giant flat was somewhere close by. When I was growing up, and really what I've taught my children, is take a huge lake and make it smaller. So what I would do when I go get ready for a Zona show or I go, go out and goof around alone, is I start on a flat and then di start dissecting all around it. Oh, oh, and the oh, other oh, thing oh. about when you're chasing smallmouth, find the irregularities on that flat, okay? If it comes way out, find where sand meets grass. Find where grass meets rock. Find where rock meets sand, okay? To me, those are the stop signs. And the biggest key, the biggest key, make sure there's food. Ooh. Ooh, look at it. Hey. <laughs> look at that bass. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. <laughs> Here's what a smallmouth does. Here's what a school of smallmouth do. They come in, kill, disintegrate, and leave, and find another food source to do that to. Okay? Remember this year. Start on a flat. Make sure there's food and do me a favor, go collide with them. And biggest thing, make a big lake small. Make a big lake small, fish flats, make sure there's food and find the irregularities on that flat. You will find the wolf. Do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Bing bong, watch this. I love you. I like that. <laughs>